So one of the most popular and one of the earliest videos I did on my channel is a merch collector. I actually have it here. I'm keeping it as the as a prized possession of the very first sort of TIG effort I did. Um, can be sold because I think the runners are too small. Um, but now I need a new one. So we have some pipes. This is not ideal because these are already bent. So we're going to use the long legs and I'm going to try and make it work. The reason, the reason why we're even using this and not a straight tube one before is because I made such a big boob. This material is 321 stainless steel. It's basically an alloy that has titanium inside. So it's kind of uh, a cheap man's uh, titanium, if you will. It's very heat resistant up to 800 degrees. It um, obviously has a good uh, corrosion resistance like normal stainless and it's uh, stronger because it has titanium. So it's perfect for doing headers. America's been doing it forever. So I have these bands from Vibrant all the way from USA uh, ordered uh, for me by Tigiva, my boys. Thank you very much. Took a couple of weeks because none of it is in stock. This is 1.5 inches. Yeah, that is a big problem because this is 1.5 inches, but this is a pipe. This is a tube. Do you see the difference? Yes, I made a massive mistake. For some reason, I thought they counted different, as in they measured totally different. I think the pipe is internal diameter, tube is outside diameter. Crazy, right? So I cannot use this. A very expensive mistake to make. Um, so what I had to do is I had to sort of just get on online and try and find a UK supplier. These vibrant uh, tubes are 1.6 mil thickness. These ones from Edwards Motorsport, I'm going to give a shout out, um, not sponsored or anything, but just because they have this in stock and they were fairly local to me. Uh, two mil, so slightly thicker, but uh, raising, ra raising concerns that they will crack, actually two mil is probably better than 1.6. They didn't have any straight tube, nothing, they just had the band. So I got a bunch of these bands, but the bands have really long tails so i think i should be okay because the merch collector is gonna go on the manifold with uh westgate priority westgate priority means that there will be a tube coming over it so the flange is not going to be welded directly onto the collector like uh like here um but it will have a tube and then you'll have a straight tube for the westgate and then from that tube you'll have the turbo so it will be slightly shorter so it's not a full sidewinder even though it's a sidewinder manifold so i can probably get away with a shorter collector so let's do the same thing i did before i have my trusty jig i think it should be okay because the pipe slots in quite nice um because these are 1.75 so the outer diameter is pretty much identical to the to the schedule 10 bands as you can see so the jig should work uh, I'll make it a bit shorter and let's try and weld it that's a good one So first I need to determine how to market and how to cut all of those things. So as you can see, I want to utilize a little bit of this band. So when they bend like that, the pipes are not strictly straight. They will sort of come out a little bit with, uh, with an angle. So each runner has to be done like this. So the cut needs to be done like that.
So I have four of them cut. As you can see, there's a bit of a kink to it. What I want to try and achieve is when they are assembled, this kink, as you can see, will be like this. See? So the tubes, instead of going outwards, they will be slightly inwards. Good. Right. Now we need to cut it. So this is a jig that I've been using. I had to modify it just now, just because of this bend. So before, how it was, I put the pipe in any direction because it's a straight pipe. You make a first cut and then you have to rotate it 90 degrees, which was fairly easy. With this one, we have to bear in mind that this is, has to be the starting point. So first I need to, to find where the band bends because obviously we want the the very outside point of this band to be on the very outside point of the of the collector so in order to find that the easiest way is you put it like this you see when you start rotating it it will align the furthest point touching the straight edge would be our straight line to the back and to the front so we already have that point which is ideal mark. So let's do this one real quick. Make a quick mark. See? Point there. So now we need four pies, four slices. How to achieve that? Well, first, what I did, you measure the tube. I mean, I know the diameter, the, the overall diameter. So it's 44.4. Um, you divide that by 2, which means that it's 22.2. 22.2 meaning it's, it's a radius, obviously. So, what we need to do next is I actually made a little jig, kind of. So this straight edge, I marked 22 millimeters in here. And then we need 22 millimeters in here. Because if I align this with a tube, like that, you can see that this should land right in the center. And then the mark that we made here, if I show you, like this, that would land exactly at 90 degrees. So that's all we have to do for all of them, as you can see here. And that's your perfect four marks. All right, next, the tube needs to be rotated 90 degrees. You obviously need a point, a reference point. Before, what I did, I scribed a line on the thing and then just basically found whatever fixed point and I aligned it to that. That was nice and easy. With this one, you need to find a point. So, because this is the bend that goes outwards, this is an angle. So the bend inwards point should be right in the corner. So what I did is I put a 45, like that on the flat edge here found a straight line and what I did I cut a groove so now when I put this inside a line first mark inside the groove like this once it's cut all I have to do is rotate the tube counterclockwise until the next mark appears in the center and in theory, if I've done my math correctly, this should be perfect 90 degree turn. And it should cut everything at the angle that we want. So this on the outside edge leading outwards. Simple? Well, not gonna lie, it took me about an hour to figure all of that out. So now we just align that hole inside the cutout. Later. No, I have not upgraded the workshop. 
As mentioned before, I am at Geese Fab. Eden said, come, you can do it here. It will be more productive and I can give you some guidance. Anyways, look at this place. Jesus Christ. You know, when you think that your workshop is the dog's box. Anyways, so, so now what I have to do is I have to prep them. He has a really nice linish over there. Prep them and then I need to tuck it all together. As soon as it's all tucked together, I'll have a basically a merge collector. And from that, we can start building a manifold. We need to position the turbo roughly in the position where we want. We need to position this, this, this roughly where we want it to be. And then start building from there. Now they're all clean, we need to tuck them all together. We do it in pairs, one pair at a time, and then we put it on the linisher and make this surface flat so they come together the same way. Just need to align it as perfect as possible. So now we have two halves and as you can see when you put them together but they come together pretty darn close you can see like that so they will even almost almost stand together yeah they do that's it that's your basic merge collector so now we need to tack it in a few more places Wait for Eden to come back so he can weld it for me, hopefully. Because he's better. Hmm. Twenty minutes later. This is Eden, by the way, Geese Fab. Uh, so there's uh, so rather than the tin for what we can do is we can uh, cut that so it's a it's a flat flat edge. We can get a cut a bit of excess tube off. We can tack that to it and that allows us to then put our purge plug on. We're basically just discussing what's the best way to purge this because obviously being stainless steel you need to purge it because otherwise you get all this sugaring and crappy on the inside and not only it doesn't look Sightly, it's actually a really bad weld. It, it's make, yeah, makes it weak, isn't yeah, it? So it, it makes it brittle. So when, when, when you purge stainless, you're essentially well, you're shielding the back side of the weld. And in, in layman's terms, you're welding the inside of the tube at the same time you're welding the outside of the tube, and it just makes for a, a much stronger weld. And there's a number of ways of doing it, and that's what, what we are sort of discussing. I mean, yeah. obviously you have those silicone ones, but now when it comes to the to the edge, we were just discussing whether to put foil or one of those aluminium big blocks that you can sort of put up. And... Yeah, we've just got to figure a way of, of plug, plug in this end. It could be, because we're making this manifold a bit different how we, how we usually would, because usually I would, I would put put the, the flange on there and weld the collector yeah. fully, but because we're doing wastegate priority, yeah. We've got to do it a bit of a different way. We can do it, it's just...
and now the master at work have done most of the outside welds and then I kind of asked him to do the professional inside job. So essentially this is how you weld a merge collector. You just pass it on to a mate to weld for you. <laughs> I mean, I did some welds and uh, Eden is just much better and because this is a race car, we want the best. Anyways, I really want to say this is how you make one at home, but admittedly, I didn't, we did finish it in a proper workshop at Gizfab, but you can do it at home, absolutely, like I did the previous one. And yeah, with uh, decent results. So this is three to one stainless and hopefully this will hold well it should hold the material has been designed for it it has titanium inside and to me it felt like welding a bit of titanium Eden says it's just like any other stainless well anyways guys gonna finish this one here I'm not gonna do it as a full video if you want to see how we do the full exhaust tune in next week or there'll be a link downstairs or you know where to find it anyways like share subscribe and all of that jazz so see you in the next one bye